I'm of a family with what the, like over 80 cousins. And we grew up like brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention my own 11 brothers and sisters, 12, you know? But, like, I'm just one of this, you know what I mean? I got a, I got a, 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 a PlayStation. No, I ain't your PlayStation. Everybody plays it. My mama. <laughs> hey, I tell my little cousin, oh, no, I'm playing. My mom come in the room. I take this whole PlayStation. What do you mean? This ain't not for you. I are the one. And they are the two. What? Welcome to the Bossier's Podcast, where the voice is loud and the reason is raw. I am your host, Dale Elliott. Now, I am here with Nico Mali. You know, government name, Nicholas Mali. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> why you ask? Oh, that's why you ask me my name. Oh man, now nah, I go by Nico. Yeah, um, this is the grandson of the group, Bob Marley. Thanks. No, that not rough, my youth. Uh, no, nah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's rough. I think it's. Um, I think it's great. It's not rough though. What say rough? I mean, I mean in a bad way. No, I get that question. No, no, no. When I get that. I get that question. I get it in a different way, right? I get it. Is it a burden? Yes. Yeah. Like an expectation or you have to live up to. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I would say it's, it's more of, um, how I say it? Like my whole life I've been, it, it's helped me because of what would be like a so-called burden, right? Where yeah. I wouldn't, where I wouldn't, where, where some, like a friend of mine will go do some dumb. <laughs> or I would go like fuck up, right? Yeah. I would I would understand that it wouldn't be like, oh, Nico does this. It would be Bob Marley's grandson Exactly went to somebody's house or something. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be just, oh, Nico did this, right? Mm -hmm. So I understood that from a like from an early stage. So that helped me stay out of trouble, knowing that you're not just me, you're we. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. So understanding that helped me understand, like, all right, cool. I don't, I don't just represent Nico. I represent the brand. My father, my grandfather, my aunties, my uncles. You know what I mean? Even my, even my mom's side. You know what I mean? You mentioned your mom and your father, your grandmother. There is a lot of you guys. There's a lot of you guys, and there is always identity. And to me, in our family, which is so overcast by, you know, Bob Marley, because, you know, Regin, Bob Marley is the biggest. Our Bob Marley is, 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 is two, is Michael Jackson and Bob Marley. Yeah. And so how you try stand out? Uh, that's, a, that's a good question, but because I've never... My thing was never standing out. I was more trying to stand in, right? <laughs> yeah. For real though, because you know, I play I played football, right? Yeah. Um most of most of my teammates or good friends, I wanna say teammates because of the school I went to, and my good friends, you know, they came from uh, they came from other cities, right? You know Lauderdale, like the, Yeah, like, you, but, like, Oh, you come from Fort Lauderdale? No, no, no. I I lived in Weston, but it's a lot of our team like People that I was really cool with, yeah, you know, they were they were from Fort Lauderdale, okay. and um, you know my my whole thing was was not trying to let them make them feel left out or whatever. So my whole, like I would try to be like, no, I'm just like like me my, are you? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like all right, cool. I may I may be a little more or not more anything, but I may have a little more at yeah. this moment. And I've and I always understood that the focus has always been humble. You yeah. know, it's never been it's never been like boastful or or arrogant. Yeah. You know, it's all the 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 base has always been humble for my mother and my father. You know, so me trying to relate more to them, not 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 trying to be like them or say I come from any kind of place, but yeah. more so trying to say, yo, like I'm 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 just I'm I'm just like you. You know what I mean? I'm exactly. human, you're human, right? And the way it kind of related the most was um, because they come, they you know, they come from bad areas. And, yeah. and I have a friend, <laughs> my friend Matt, like, oh, oh yeah, Nico's rich, Nico's rich. Mm. I'm like, bro, like, 
I go pick you. I go pick them all up to go to school. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> if I'm like, I'm just, I put, I put, I had a two, I had a two door car. I put six people in there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I would do like whatever I could do. You know, I do my best for it to to um to help and be like, ah, right, yo, whatever, I, whatever I have, you have too. You know. But mm-hmm. understand what I say. And when you highlight that specifically with like your friends, I have to like. Yeah. Try be try make them know like all right, I might have more, but I am just you. And was that even a problem with you trying to to like get accepted? Because it's like every time, like you said, matter that remind you like yo, you're yeah. rich. <laughs> you're just you're rich, brother. Like so, it me, me, me just see it hard for you really. Well, you play football, and from when we realize it, watching football, you really have to be. A dog. Yeah. To play football. And and the truth of it was this, right? They were they were really good. I was I was really I was really good. Like really good. Yeah. But I'm five eight playing linebacker. It's not you know, you come from Jamaica, so you don't understand yeah. this. But it's you like, have to really no, no, you have no, to no, explain but, that to me. No, but it's really like if you go if you look on rosters and like the NFL or whatever, even yeah. in college, you know. You'll see people that are six one, six foot, six two, two hundred fifty pounds. I'm five eight, one hundred ninety pounds in in high school. Like, you know, it playing linebacker is is it's tough. So, and my friends, they all getting highly, highly, highly recruited. I I remember our spring game in uh, junior year. LSU came to see Matt, which is one of the bigger, yeah, we know the LSU. Bigger, um, colleges in America. Like when it comes to football. Mm-hmm. Um, they getting offered by all kind of places, SEC schools. I'm not getting any looks, right? So it's like, all right, like now I'm working harder and I'm working, like you know what I mean. But I'm just as good. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm really good. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not, like not, not, not to, not, not to, yeah, 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 not, not even like any play around things. But like that road was a little more difficult for me. So, bam, bam, like I'm kind of. I see what, you know, they like, oh, yeah, Nico, yeah. I'm like, damn, but, bro, you about to go to a big school. Like, you about to be good. I, like, you you actually live in my dream. And, but, and, but, but. In their eyes. um You know what I'm saying? In their like, eyes yeah, is the total yeah, difference. Yeah, 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 but, exactly. But not to, not to, not to say, like, not to say anything to, like, oh, no, I, I wish I, no, no, nothing like that. But if, like, when you're looking at different people's perspectives, different things, Exactly. Look, you know what I mean? So I pers- I look at it like, so everybody, can you explain to me one time, everybody have a different like struggle and a different reality. Mm-hmm. So basically his reality and your reality is, is almost like the same struggle you are feel, but him don't know your struggle and you don't necessarily know for him one, but yeah. him not supposed to tell you say your struggle easier than his struggle. But in that example, like when it comes to like football and real life, mm-hmm. it that it's it's completely different. Okay. You know what I mean? Like like his like his real life is would would be tougher than like I would exactly. I would never compare like oh me not getting recruited to how he, like, you know what I mean? like you know True, I mean? that three, that, that not I, really work on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying like as far as like okay, you like when it comes to football, you you know yeah. what I mean? Like you so, about to, you know, but and that was in, the, but that was our when it when when it came to like being in that realm. Uh, that's our uh, reality at that moment. You know what uh, I'm saying? But so, obviously, when you go home, it's completely I, different. Most smallly, mm. them do music, and you know, few the jeans kind of like super strong in which everybody like probably look alike, sound alike. Them like music. So you and your father, which is Ruan, uno have uno own identity. But similar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Uno went sports, Uno play football. By chance. It's, and like, I don't know if it's a case where did you have to fight to play football or it was just like, yo, I like football. You know? I've been around you for a while now. I don't see, a, I don't know of you having any interest in pursuing music. Oh, well, you know, that comes from like, one thing I'm good at is knowing what I'm not good at. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Like, and no matter, like, I could never sing. And, but not only I could never sing, like, it was never really, like... A thing for you, do? Yeah, yeah, like, my cousins, they grew up in the studio, you know? Uncle Steve, the G. 
You know what I mean? Like, yeah. With like the maestro in it. Like the people we used to we used to see come through the studio, even like in the like two thousand. Like, but he would like when he genius. When you when you talk about genius, genius. You in know terms what I mean? of producing and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And making music too. Mm -hmm. You know, he's still one of my favorite artists. But my me myself, I never I I never got that. Even when I was there, I wouldn't be like my cousin. They'd be as young as whatever freestyling, going making music when they're kids. That I would, I would like I, skip and well, skip is a bit younger than us. But like KJ, Yon, okay. skip no, but skip too though. Skip, but skip has always been like skip. Yeah. Indeed, want music. But yeah, yeah, but like you. you you could tell from young Skip gonna be a star. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, like whatever, regardless of what it would be, Skip was gonna be a star. So he's like me. And, so so is his bigger brother. He he played basketball. I played football. But that came about. I I, I was always like an athlete, but um, I didn't start playing until eighth grade, late eighth grade year. And the summer before that, I went to go see my dad, and he used to live in LA too. Uh, at the Palazzo when it first opened, like I'm talking like maybe 05, 06, 07, around those times, right? Okay. So I went to go see him there. And when I tell you, me and my cousin Sean, and Sean actually introduced me to football. Like I watched my first football game with Sean. And, you know, like I own my lot when it comes to like what happened. Like football. learning and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 exactly. So we go there and my dad was like training us, like, Going hard, like big, like shit. Like, like damn, <laughs> like, damn, I came here to like come see my 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 father. <laughs> nah, nah, this is like boot camp, right? So Sean Merriman there, we we working out with him, and then one day my dad played at UM University of Miami. Yeah, Ray Lewis, you know with the Warren Sapp. Ray Lewis, the the Rock played on his team too. Like really? Yeah, yeah, yeah the Rock. Real that was one team. I like no, I am watching football now. Yeah, so like yeah, I know who Real Lewis is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Warren Sapp. So your father did on team with them in a um Yeah, he played yeah. At the U at the U. So I mean these are like the the most famous like names. legendary. And there was but no, but they still had a lot of legends there too, like Jesse Armstead. But like those are people that the one everybody know. Yeah, yeah, but I'm you know, it's Ray Lewis, Warren Sapp, The Rock, Rohan Marley. They're on one defense. And they, that was one defense. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> They win, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they did well. You know? They all went to the NFL. Except my father. I don't, I don't know if The Rock did either. But no, yeah, yeah The Rock my wrestled. Go, but yeah, yeah. No, I mean, The Rock, he did, he did, he did a much better thing. <laughs> he chose a better route. <laughs> this guy, the rock couldn't bother with the bag of beat up, beat up. Yeah, so take but, oh, and, oh, little small, like a small story. Like my whole life, I grew up a wrestling fan. The Rock is my favorite. Like the, he's the Rock. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah, this is who I'm looking up to. Yeah, and then I don't know when it was, but I don't know who told me. It could have been my mom. It could have been something. I was like, yo, you know the Rock play with your dad, bro. When I tell you, it was mind blown. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like the Rock? No, bro. I, I spent, I spent. Hours in the mirror trying to, you know, and I got it. I still got it. I spent hours trying to figure that out, bro. Really, like the rock idol, my first like idol, you know. And I figure out like, yo, my dad played football with him. Crazy story, anyway. But so now, so I'm I'm in LA working out, and then Ray Lewis is there, like as my dad's best friend, you know, like he oh. in the house. Like, we like, like, we really like close, I mean, yeah. We really chilling, you know. No, not he, he's um, you know, yeah. And now he's working. Oh, I'm like, damn, like, all right, I get back to Miami. I, I, I haven't touched the football at this point, I don't know anything about football. I've never played. Why well, never choose an easier position? Bro, it, it, there's five eight is short for everything, <laughs> like, oh, in a all football, yeah, like, yeah, maybe running back, but. That's uh, what I mean. I said running uh, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, but but I mean, I'm I'm coming at ninth, eighth grade, I'm not that fast, whatever. Okay. But the instincts are crazy. But anyway, so I go, I go to um, I go to my city team. Right, this is where Matt is. Like this is Pop Warner. Matt's there. My other best friend Alex is there, and then I'm there as a new, never played football in my life, bro. But when I tell you I was like really good, going crazy. But it's like 
135 leagues, Western Warriors. We playing against people our like size. Yeah, like 135 <laughs> as well. You know, it's a weight thing. Someday I'm killing them, killing them. And then I go to college. I'm sorry, high school. And then from high school, I played JV my junior, my my freshman year, sophomore year. I go up to varsity. Anyway, I'm getting better and better. I'm learning the game. And but even in Pop Warner, my dad took Ray Lewis to a, to a game. Um, it was Tamarack. I don't, I don't know how I remember. I remember. Yeah. Anyway, my dad was like, "Yo, Ray said you gonna be something." So like, they said that is all they want here. I ain't gonna say it's all I want to hear, yeah. but like I'm like, all right, this is you know, this is like this is Ray Lewis. Yeah, yeah. This is like it, football wasn't even my passion like that. Like I oh. just I just knew I was good. I just knew I was good. That's all I knew. Long story short, like from junior year to senior year, going crazy, amazing, all state. Like you know, all that, all that good stuff. We went to the state championship our senior year. We lost. At least you make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did that. Um, Tulane was my only Division One offer. I go there at the bottom of the depth chart, behind the walk-ons, the people that just go. What's they, that? The a, walk-ons. A walk-on is somebody that I, I have a scholarship. Mm-hmm. A walk on is somebody that pays for school and be like, oh, I'm gonna just go play football, you know. And they step in, they do a little tryout, and they make the team. They know on scholarship, they still paying for school. Oh, so so can a walk on graduate to getting a scholarship if he's good yeah. enough? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. There's been a lot of them moments, so and that's mm-hmm. a, and that's a special moment too. But I'm under them guys. Like I go in, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so anyway, like everybody's looking at me like, oh, Bob Marley Grandson, he only here because of. Oh, yes. That is what may I say. You know, find that super annoying. Like, you feel like you have to work 10 times harder than anybody else. No, I don't care because it's going to, because the the reality is going to show. Your game. Yeah. And in and, and that in that instance, yeah, it's, 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 it's the game of football, right? So my game is going to show anyway. Earn everybody's respect. Like, literally, because... It was always, yo, this is Bob Mike Grassley. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, the only reason he here, I'll be short. Anyway. Did you have hopes of going to the NFL? Yeah. Because everybody dream when they play football. So so that happens. And, you know, this draft happens. I already know I'm not going to get picked in the draft. However, like, anybody that had a career like mine, mm-hmm. if there was six foot, six one, probably went first round. Yeah. Probably would have went first. My dream was to go to the U to UM. The same place my dad went. Yeah. Um, but it didn't happen. Went to Tulane, did what I had to do, whatever. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm probably not I'm probably not gonna get drafted. Um and after the draft, there's a, a space where free agents can go. I didn't get called to be a free agent. So after that, there's a play, there's um you can get invited to a rookie camp. Right? Yeah. Every Team, all 32 teams, they have a rookie camp. And, you know, they invite whoever, like, you know, whoever. Wow. It, it's whoever they drafted mm-hmm. and whatever free agents they picked up. And then they invite whoever just so they could fill the camp up and they could see, you know, because they ain't really looking at us. They looking at, you know, who they drafted and how, you know, it's just like, whatever. It's still practices, right? Yeah. So my agent comes to me. He's like, all right, Neeks, we got Washington. We have the Arizona Cardinals and we have the Saints. Two lanes in New Orleans. I was like, damn, I want to go back to New Orleans. And then Washington was, my cousin lived there. I was like, oh, that's easy. I'll go up there. I go up there. The first day wasn't the best. Like I, like, I played well. I played well. I didn't make any mistakes or anything. Then the second day, the, um, the coach, he playing, he playing, um, my grandpa he playing Bob during the warm-ups. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go crazy today. <laughs> Went crazy. Damn, cr- crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Crazy. Whatever. They sent me home. They signed some other guy. They sent me home. I was like, all right, cool. I bought my own, because my flight was to leave at like night or whatever, or like the next morning. I bought my own ticket. I was like, well, I'm going back to Miami. So yeah, no, I am. Mm. I ain't going to the league. Um, so that's a Sunday. I get back home, go to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I had a really Party. Woo. Had an amazing night. Anyway, I'm at my cousin at my cousin Noah's house, right? I get a call, junior number calling me at seven o'clock. I went I went to sleep at like four thirty. What's going on? So he's like, Yeah, this is so and so from the Redskins. Um, 
yeah, bro, we, he goes, we're going to sign you. I'm like, oh, word. He's like, yeah, could you get on a flight at 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock? <laughs> like, yo, boss, could you get me on? Like, I'm like, could you wipe look at my tower to my first or yeah, something. I'm like, I said, could you get me on the latest flight? He's like, he's like, <laughs> but he like, like check himself. I was like, did you, did you hear me? This is the Redskins. Are you not excited? Like, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm going to need more time. You know what I mean? I got to tell my mom, I got to tell my dad, whatever. Yeah. So I call my mom and my dad, like, yo, Redskins. <laughs> so hold on, you really tell the man, you, you tell him like, yo, I need to tell my mom, my dad, and I'll be there. Later. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I really, I really gotta leave right now. Like, I'm a pack. Like, come on, cause like I gotta, you know what I mean? I gotta get my like. <laughs> you should, you should, you shouldn't let me leave. You shouldn't let me leave DC. Fast forward, I'm, like I'm having a great camp. I knew they was gonna cut me though. I knew it because um, there was a, a coach, my linebacker coach, right? I'm having like, I'm having really good practices, like really, really good. Anyway, I have an okay practice one time, man. And he's like, wow, Nico, this is the first time you, like, this is after, like, maybe 20 practices. Wow, Nico, this is the first time you haven't had, had your hand on the ball. Was it? Every practice, I'm, like, I may have an interception, or I may force a fumble, yeah. or I may, um, or I may, like, deflect the ball or something. Anyway, one of the times, it's like, oh, it's jogging. And I say, oh, wow, Nico, this is the first day you haven't had a, uh, your hand on the ball. I'm like, all right, you know, you need a reason. It's cool. Yeah. Whatever. So anyway, first first preseason game, I was player of the game, and I really like I was really you know I had a I had a great preseason, um and then you know they cut me get cut yeah Nick where you wanna go I'm like yo bro just take me to New York my dad's in New York <laughs> <laughs> just take me to New York so yeah no nah, so I go see my dad in New York you know he's a bachelor you know he had a this is when he had seven children. <laughs> when he had How seven. much children do you have now? Uh, Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. You have any kids? No, hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, move. Yeah, move slow. Yo, if I have twelve kids, yeah. How much like cousins do you think you have? If you have a count, how no, much? No, I couldn't put a number on it, and I've and I've tried, and I cannot. It got to be close to 80. It got to be, if not more. 80, cousin? Or more, more, or more. Probably more. Wait, so, wait, wait. No, no. I mean, even slow this down, sir. So, Ruan have 12. Nigga got 12. Actually. How much Ziggy have? Seven. Damien. One. Steven. <laughs> Unks? Hey, un hey Unks got him. I don't know. Yo. He got more, he got more than my dad. I he know that. more than <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> that is, brother, that crazy. That crazy, my you. No, what you mean, bro? We, but you got to understand, man, good people got to make good people. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah. good people got to make good people, you know? Yeah. So hey, much people. It, if you, not to cuss, if you messed up, don't make no babies. But if you good people, populate it, you know what I mean? Make make more good people because we need more good people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so, yo, that my we can just we don't know the family reunion. No, <laughs> you can't. You can't. It just be like we go maybe we, we go check Auntie Sedella, you know? Yeah, that's a Florida, right? Yeah, yeah. So we go go check her, and then it's just be like, oh, this is your cousin, and the next cousin. Like, hey, oh, this new cousin. Wow. <laughs> no, but really though, I mean, but for real. I mean, if you haven't seen anybody in a few years or whatever, like, yeah, you know, like now I have, I have four nieces and nephews. Yeah. My sister has another on the way. There's a couple more on the way. Um, so, so basically, I'm going to have seven nieces and nephews within the next few months. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so it's. All right. This, this is a serious question. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me as Does well. the Marlies believe in condoms? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> really, dog. Please, I need to know right now. <laughs> Yo. No, <laughs> no. This is a, that's a very serious question. I can only speak for myself. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I can only speak for myself. All right. My grandfather had a lot of kids. Um, a lot of them made music. Great, 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 great musicians. Music. And 
and the, but you got one that played football. I uh, one with Ak. You know <laughs> what? One that made he made the best. I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna put this out there. It's the it's the best hood film ever. And it Shut comes, us. Yeah, it come from Jamaica. The best hood film ever. Better than Belly. Better than um. Any one of them, you can call it Shutters shot is it. Facts. You know, anybody that see me, I will be like, oh, you related You related to the Marlies? You know what the first question they ask me after? I'll be like, yeah. Shutters. Oh, you got from Shutters, son? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. And then, and then it'd be, it'd be, it'd either be Shutters' son or Ziggy. That's it. You know what I mean? That's, and that's what I remember. So, you know, he got it. He got that. You got one that played football, and then me, I played ball too. You know what I mean? And and it's just like a branch of different. Everybody things. had the something that is, bro. There is like every single Marley that I know is doing something, and it's like everybody have like them own lane, and I find that so sick and like powerful. Now everybody don't stick to music. Everybody does something else. Like you, you have. Lion out of your like your aisles and them. Lion like, X. Let me I mix them up. So yeah, it's yeah. a Lion X. Yeah. What exactly is it? So this is this is a CBD. Well, it's it's a wellness company. Yeah. And we started with CBD products. Um, we have a muscle and and joint cream right here that you know it'll pretty much like it's like Advil but natural. Like oh. I'm gonna just put like your legs. Let, whatever, like, whatever, Trump. hurt, whatever you, well, no, whatever hurting you, bro, whatever hurting you, really, like, um, and I'm not making any claims, disclaimer, but you know, I've had, I, from the testimonies I have, is, you know, it's some people with arthritis that put the, put it on where it hurts, yeah, um, it's people with joint pain, muscle no, pain, no, 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 but it's a, it, but it, I'm, I really can't say anything that's like a medical claim, okay. Because of it's just a natural. No, but it really it's in through the, through the testimonies I've gotten. It's not it's not it's not what I'm saying. It's through the testimonies I'm getting yeah. through people that have purchased my product. You know, it really helped them with whatever pains they're feeling. Yeah. So you know, we have the muscle bomb. We have the gummies too, which are phenomenal. They taste amazing. And wait, 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 wait. When you say gummies, you mean? So you have CBD gummies. No, they're CBD gummies. It won't get it won't get you high. So it won't get you high. Nope. It is linexwellness.com. Will not get you high. No, but it, so it just tastes good. No, it tastes good, but also has it has this it has the cannibal noise. So if my taste one of that right now, now nah, get my high. No, you won't get high. May I try one? Yeah, my will be empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one is there. Oh, uh, there you go. You so you're sure it is not gonna get my high? I promise you, it ain't gonna get you high. Damn, I'm a liar. I don't, I don't take edibles. Yo, my dad gave me an edible on the plane. I would never take an edible in my whole life. My dad gave me an edible on the plane from New York to Cancun. Um, I don't know if I should be telling you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna say, it. yo, he gave me, but. It was my fault though, cause I'm no like you know I'm I'm not minding my own business. There's a little whip, whips out this little like Hershey chocolate looking thing, right? Yo, what's that? He's like, yo, no, ain't nothing. Just to help me sleep. But oh, by the way, this is when I'm like 22, 23, 24 years. Yes, old. disclaimer. Like, yeah, 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 disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm a, I'm a grown man at this point. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and I'm like, let me just get a piece because I'm scared of flying. I fly a lot, but I'm scared of flying. So anything that can put me a piece on, whatever. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, hey, just take a piece of this. So I took a piece, right? Eat it. Anyway, you know, we there, we laughing, boom, boom. Like really laughing, we laughing hard on the plane. This is, but the thing is, right? This is in, this is from New York to Cancun, but this is in the winter time. So if you ever flew out of New York in the winter time when it's cold and snowing, whatever. You already know, like, it's going to be a process to leave, right? They got to defrost the plane, all yeah, that. Yeah, it takes forever. Anyway, we laugh, man. Kick, kick, kick in. There's, a, there's like, a baby behind us. He's doing peekaboo. We, like, we rolling. <laughs> anyway, I fall asleep. And then I just, and I feel, like, just a massive movement. I'm like, oh, we landed. Oh, this is amazing. You know, I landing? 
We just taken off, damn. <laughs> we just took off. Yo, my whole world starts spinning. I'm like, no, 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 no. I was my world is spinning. I look out the window, the plane is spinning. I'm like, yo, why is the capo going in circles like this? <laughs> Yo, you know, I've never tried that a little bit before. Don't enough. do that. Sh- I mean, listen, if you do it and you love it, do what you got to do. But I will never do that again in my life. The plane is spinning there, like, literally, like, while I'm, like, yo, fam. Wow. I'm like, all right, this is going to, this can't last that long. So I just shut my eyes tight like this. Like, every muscle my eye or whatever, whatever controls that, them eyelids, I close them tight. The flight attendant is walking by. I can hear her asking, oh, what would you like to drink? What would you like to drink? And all I could think about is, all right, I need, I definitely need water. Yeah, some water. And I'm like, fam, I need grapes. Grips? I don't know why, but I just knew. <laughs> I needed some fruits. And I'm like, yo, fam, grapes got to be the one to assist me during this time. Must. It got to be grapes to help me during these times. You know what? You want more? Absolutely. <laughs> So she comes and she's like, all right, what would you like to drink? Can I have some water? Oh, also, can I have some grapes? Oh, we, we don't have, um, we're not doing that at the time. And, but I saw, I'm, I'm like, well, look, this is on the menu and um, it says you have grapes. <laughs> I'm going to purchase them. What's going on here? Um, yeah, we're not there at this moment. All right, cool. Give me water, boom. Come back around. Can I, um, can I have another water? The water. Anyway, one of the moments she came back, my water was full. And I was like, yo, can I have a water? Oh, but you have one right there. I said, yeah, but I'm going to need another one. I'm fried, bro. <laughs> yo. But, and, and then like every time she walk away, close my eyes tight again. And then hear my dad go, y'all, you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Tripping out. I'm like, yo, fam. Nah, the, cap- the captain going to land the plane. They're going to be like, oh, you too high. You got to get out of here. Like, this is the things I'm thinking, right? That's why I keep just shutting my eyes. Like, man, they know I'm high. They know I'm high. They're about to land the plane. I'm about to get out of here. They're about to send me out of here. Damn, damn, damn. You have this. So you don't like edibles. Do you smoke? Sometimes. Oh, so you're like a social smoker, like if smoking taking place. It can't be too social. I'll be, I'll be fried. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get too fried. But no, nah, I mean like sometimes, sometimes I'll smoke like my little, my little brother, you know. Him smoke. Yeah. It, oh, more than anybody you ever know in your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, more than anybody you ever know, bro. So the guy, you know, I'll be like, yo, Josh, roll me one. You know, or sometimes. Oh, so it's just like a little, like one. It's definitely the vibe. It got to, it got to be like I want to smoke. You oh, know it's what definitely like, like a vibe. But thing. can't nobody push me to smoke. You know, my first time smoking Marley is my, it's my, it's Marley Fest. I was in sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm my first time blowing. But that, but, but there, but from them times though, I knew I ain't never gonna be a smoker. Oh, it's just not for you. Yeah, but from them time, I didn't, I didn't eat anything else. Like them times, and you're like, all right, cool. It like, Aaron, like my my cousins, everybody around me was smoking, and they always smoked. But like, it was never something I was like, oh, I don't want to smoke. You know what I mean? Mm. What want to like? How you not a lux? Mm. I always wonder that. So why you not a you know, dreads? <laughs> you just like Kenro. Well, I'm not the only Molly without dress. But I mean, look at my mother. Oh, your mother, um, your mother Jamaica? Or is she born here? No, no, no. She's Haitian. Oh, so your mother Haitian. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you you're familiar with fear side of the family as well? Like you go mm-hmm. Haiti and Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, like I'm ha- I'm Haitian. All right. Then. I'm Haitian, I'm and I'm Jamaican too. Yeah. But I'm more, like, you know, I am actually born in Haiti. See, me never know that. You didn't know? Okay, well, shit. I'm actually born in Haiti, bro. Like, and I'm, at, I'm Haitian, like, oh, through and through. So you know the language and everything? Yeah, of course. I mean, never know that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm really Haitian. I always want to ask, like, so 
majority of you live in the States. Majority of the Malis live in the States. Have you ever visit like um Trenchtown? Mm-hmm. So you, you like you go there and you see like where it is and everything there. Like why up one how often even go like you go Jamaica often? I before the pandemic, yeah. I used to go like probably once a year. Oh, to like the museum and everything there. Yeah. You know what me did I gotta ask you? So relationship wise. Mm. So dog, what me always want noise. So like for instance, it's not hard for you to find like somebody will really like you for you and not necessarily your last name. I don't know if it's hard. It's um I be I be hoping it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> hoping it's gonna look good or like I smell good or something. But the reality is, you know, it comes with the territory. Yeah, like that can happen. You know, it comes with it comes with the territory. So it's it's not their fault. It's not on them. It's on it's on me to recognize, you know, what they like. Exactly. So, a lot of the times I I can tell where their interest lies, you know, if it lies with me or it lies with whatever comes with me, you know? Okay. So do you believe in monogamy? I've been bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been bad at it. <laughs> Ideally, how much children you think you want? Like around maybe four or five. Yeah, that sound that sound good. It yeah. sounds good. Four or five, you know. Maybe if it trip and reach a ten. <laughs> based on um your history, maybe. Not, yeah, yeah, but, based based on your lineage, you know. Yeah, but but um, you know what I'm on these days though, bro. Yeah. It's it's a little it may be a little selfish, but it just has it just has to be that because. I'm on something like more so like for lack of a better word, I'm the catch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I'm and not only my and not only the Marley side, my mother's no. side is phenomenal, brother. Like, you know what I mean? It's more like the way the way we, we treat each other, the way we handle each other, the way we family, like Masit. Yeah, like that's you know, like that's what comes with me. It's not me. It's not me. But it's what I come with, and it's more like I, I don't want to be in a position where somebody thinking like, "Oh, what are you offering me?" You know what I mean? Oh, okay, I understand. Like, like, no, it's I'm coming with all. Oh, can are you gonna be able to bring some to the table? <laughs> no, for real, bro. For real, for real. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not gonna laugh. Like, if you don't bring anything to the table, you're taking from the table. You know what I mean? That is true. And. We at a point where it's if you're gonna come into my life, you gotta be able to add to whatever I'm doing, whatever yeah. or whatever I already have. Add and some like, sort of value. Yeah, and the val and and my value is and more than just this, but it's all it's like the found it's the foundation, it's the family. Like it, it takes a village to raise a, a child, you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna speak more to my my mother's side of the family. We all like to this day we all together like this. Like you can't break like anything one of us need, we got it no matter oh. what it is. Did you grow up with your mom's side of the family more? Like live with your mom every yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. And like no matter even my cousin doesn't come to mind without seeing my other cousin Yanni's kids. And my sister's daughter, like it got, like it has to be done, you know. My mom, she, like my mom, yo, my mom is almost. I'm almost. I'm looking at her like because the way she is with my my sister, like with with her granddaughter, my sister's yeah. daughter. I'm like, yo, mom, you know, it's a little sick. I tell her that, you know, like, mom, you gotta relax. That's Eden's daughter, not yours. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, but, oh, so she had, like try. No, 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 she's not trying. But I mean, it's just. We we just got we have that much love to give, you know what I mean? So I don't and what up what up and even my sister's husband, you know what I'm saying? Like that's my brother. Cool. No, my my brother. That's my mom's son. That's my dad's son. That's you know what I mean? That's that's us, you know? So if I'm gonna bring somebody into that, they gotta be able Solid. to 
more than just solid, bro. They got to be, they got to be able to feed that as well. They got to be able to give love because if they're not giving love, they're taking love. And maybe, but maybe it could help them. True. Maybe it could help them. But I, I want, I want to be able to add to what we're doing because it's, it's genuine. It's real. It's what we like. It's 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 um like you know what I mean. Like when I when I go to my my sister's house, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah, you family know, so, and bro, amazing. I went to the house the other day, bro. I'm like, she got like a fruit spread out, but it's just me there, right? I'm like, oh, you did all this for me? <laughs> <laughs> you done me, right? Like, no, nah, I mean, you know, like, Ocean is my niece's name. Yeah. Ocean loves fruits. Oh, oh you know, her husband, Olivier. And, like, oh, and oh, oh loves fruits too, you know what I mean? Like, so it's more like giving. So I can't have a taker. And I think it's a lot of, and I think, and I, me, myself, I think we're in a space where in, in a certain, like a certain society. Yeah, we live in LA now. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so I must be in, I must be in this, in this realm, right? I think we're in a place where there's a lot of takers. You know what I mean? In my reality, I don't know if that's everybody else's reality. No, but understandably, your reality, you definitely are gonna have only for takers. Okay, so you understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of takers. It's a lot of entitlement. As opposed to people that are going, that you know, it's it's like it's like human, it's like foundation, but like you don't have you don't have to you don't have to take to receive. You it's something to be mean? real. It's yeah, something to be yeah. genuine. You know, you can receive by just being you. I think, I think we're in a place where people are not comfortable with being them. That understand they, that they're, they're doing like they're as opposed to like being them and be accepted for who you are you're trying to be something else because of what you see and i try 15 and i try 15 so like you move from miami right or yeah, from yeah, yeah. why you make the move from miami to la i wanted to oh. <laughs> i like I just, I just do things bro i do things off impulse I live. Um, my dad lived in. L, um, sorry, my dad lived in New York as well. I spent a lot of time in New York. I grew up in Miami, in the Miami area. You know. Yeah. Um, so, oh my God. yeah. So yo, next challenge. I'm just got LA you now. Like go LA, like go figure it out. My cousin was living in my. Well, not my cousin, my uncle, but we're the same age. Yeah. He was living in. Yo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. So is it is your actual uncle? Yeah, yeah. But my, my, the same my, age. My mom's dad. And you would like that too. And Haiti, big G. Like Oh, say so my volley part. Ten. You got ten. Oh, so yeah, you have a boat side of your family just full yeah, up of pitney. Hey, hey. But you know, obviously I'm I didn't get to meet Grandpa everybody. Bob, yeah. But I met you know, I met my, my other grandpa, grandfather. Dad, Cheryl, you know what I'm saying? And he was like me for business. Like, business. Oh, it's a strict businessman. Don, he said, Don, you know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to the business thing, you know what I mean? He he started as a trucker in Haiti. He built a flower company. So man, he had a lifetime, he had a lifetime contract with us, like with Cemex to, oh. to import cement and like, okay. do cement business in Haiti. Um, rice, pork, like pork, pork. pork. Pork, oh, pork. come here, I said pork. No, no, no. no. <laughs> a, a pork. No, no. You eat pork? No, I don't eat no fucking pork. Good, good, good. Yeah. Just have a check. <laughs> nah, I don't <laughs> Just have a check. Yeah, but I mean, you know, so, but he, he's Lebanese. Anyway, bro, like. Yo, you know, as a care, as somebody from Jamaica still, we never go here to it. You know, like all them would have just like brand Jamaica as like, Oh yeah, Jamaica. All that Jamaica is some Rastaman from a beach or smoke. Mm. I what people are seeing about Haiti, like 
Haiti has never been a destination where I'm like, yo, I want to go there. Because I want to see. So now like, and then you introduced me to like people from Haiti where you're like, oh, she's Haitian. I mean, I said, what? (laughs) (laughs) So there's like a different world of Haiti where like, look, somebody say like the beaches them are Haiti, like the sands them white and like beautiful. Bro, you think any beach you've ever seen on any, whatever, wherever you look at beaches or whatever, like it look better in Haiti. See, like, I mean, like, I mean, I know that. Like, no, can't no, see no, that. Hey, bro. Haiti is, all right. So, like, for instance, right, where everybody is, like, they have, like, this infatuation about Africa. Yeah. Haiti is that, too. You know what I'm saying? Look better beaches with our people. Um, obviously... A lot of suffering people too. Mm-hmm. One of you can imagine, and it's a lot closer, right? Roots. Haiti was Haiti is the first country un- forget um, liberated um, on the Western Hemisphere. Eighteen oh four, you know. Yeah, like that's that's not like, and that and that's something that for some reason gets swept under the rug. But it, we started the revolution. True. Like we started the revolution. And the French, the reason they didn't come back was because, you know, they, they, oh, the French is, the French is, they messed up. Yeah, because like, apparently, and, and, like, the, the, and for some reason, they won't own up to it. They, they owe, they owe Haiti because. But I think Haiti who owed them like 20 billion francs was like. Yeah, the, but you know why? Because then they take back them. No, 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 no. But you know. You know what that you know what that was? That was them saying for us not to enslave you again, you owe us this money. Oh man, I know I did that. That's what it was because friend, the Haiti liberated themselves from the French. Yeah. The French, they left and they say, yo, you owe us this in order for us because Obviously, there's more French than there. If we're in an island, right? So if the French decide really send an army, yeah, yeah, like to to come and take it back, right? So it was it's pretty much like a blackmail, like like okay. yo, pay with the money here, or we'll come back, come take it. Yeah, but why is that not more of a story? Like, and not and and you know we love we love Africa. You know what I'm saying? We go to Ethiopia, we go everywhere. Like, but why? Why can't Haiti get that love? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why can't, why, not even that love, why can't that recognition or why can't we put that to light? Like, uh, the first black country in the Western Hemisphere, before you were able to be African American, you was able, you was, you, you were, you could have been black in Haiti. You know what I mean? You yeah. could have been Haitian and been cool. You know what I'm saying? As a black person and not been a slave. Like why why isn't more light shed to that? I I personally think it's just because like the the powers not necessarily want to highlight that there was a country where you know French, British, French, English, the all of them colonizers that you don't think you don't think them want to highlight say, yo, we lose this country. And this country now is Haiti. And you know, and Haiti was one of the richer countries because we were, we were the top exporters of yeah, sugar yeah, cane. Yeah, yeah. Prior but, to but prior to the right. revolution. Yeah. No, no, no. But after after the revolution. Even was, after too? Yeah, one of the top one of the top exporters of sugar cane. But I mean, to your point, yeah, um Yeah, they wouldn't want yeah, they I mean that's that not look good to them. That not fit like their agenda. At all, <laughs> at all, at all, at all. But it is what it. But I mean, you can we we can still shed light to it. All right, all right then. So you move come to LA, mm-hmm. and do you like it more than Miami? I like everywhere. I, I don't know. I like. It just depends on the place I'm in. The time I'm in, like where I am mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, however it is, like, because I could always go fly back, go to Miami and be 
good, and then I'll come back here and be happy too, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's it's a matter of where and when and oh. what's happening. And if something's happening in Miami, I'm going to go there. Are you a nightlife kind of person? Like, like all right, your father look like... <laughs> Your father looked like the perfect person for party with. Oh, three hundred percent. Him look like. Well, when we was, you know. Yeah, him look like him will never be. There's never a dull moment. <laughs> never. So, like, my girl, with you, I'm gonna see the same energy. Mm-hmm. No. I've been to Miami and I've been to LA. It's two. It's night and day. The party scene in yeah, in yeah, a yeah. Miami, everybody more friendly, high, and dance. In a LA, it's like, what you do? <laughs> You know, you know, everybody want to, everybody want to be somebody. That's what I'll tell you, bro. Everybody want to be somebody. And Miami too, though, on the look. And Miami, a lot of fakers too. Uh, but LA, they're a little more open about, or them they may open think, with them fakeness. Or they may think you're dumber than you are. Like, I'm like, like, oh, like LA, they'll tell you, oh man. Yeah, man. I own the Beverly Center. <laughs> like, I'll tell you some bullshit, like some BS lie like that. Like somebody will tell you like that in LA, like. All right, bro, like, come on. Yeah, yes. LA, somebody will definitely be like, yeah, oh, I mean, yeah, my father owns everything. Okay? Yeah, yeah, like the world. Like, okay, whatever. Oh, yeah, my, they'll be like, oh, yeah, my father owns this building right over here. Oh, really? I live in this building. I actually pay rent to um a, a somebody named, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just something that, they just lie about anything. Miami, the lies come a little bit more, like, like they underneath, you know what I mean? So, it's, it's a lot of... This and that, but See, I the girl, the girl, them look better in Miami though. The girls look good everywhere, bro. Just came back from Brazil. Girls are beautiful. Oh, everywhere. you go Brazil? How was that? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, bro. Brazil was amazing. Like that's a place gotta go. How much countries you ever been to? Um, I can't count them. You got Africa already, right? I haven't, I haven't been to Africa. You need to go Africa. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Africa, nice. Um, Depends on where though, but I will say I went, I went to um Havar, in, which is in Croatia, and it's like it's a small island, mm-hmm. it's a small island, but I was the only, literally the only black, not even black. I think I'll say black. I was the only, I'm black, but I'm saying like. I was the only person with a little bit of light skin color. <laughs> so the rest of the, they were they were like jet. They were like super dark. No. What do you mean like they was white? Oh, like come. the wall. <laughs> I'm the only person with a little skin with a like, little like. skin color. Everybody else was like I'm like damn. The only person I could have, I could have looked like, I don't know, anybody that's like super light skinned, bro. And I would have still got crazy looks. Like, yeah, it looks so dark. <laughs> bro, the only person with a little bit of skin color, bro. I'm like, yo, I ain't never coming back here again. Did you enjoy it, though? Um, I made the best of it. Why your craziest traveling experience? There's a, there's a few. I don't think these are stories I could really tell. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not that kind of. But no, no, no. Like, you got, you got to go. You got to just see places. You got to meet people. I like to go. I like to go places where I know people because I don't want to be a tourist in the place, right? Yeah. I, I want my taxi. Not only are they gonna tax you, but you don't know. You don't know where you're going. I don't want to go so like I like to go places and know people so I could go do things that they do and meet the real them and, and, and feel their real culture, you know, as opposed to going like it's somebody going to Mobay, right? And they only go to um the tour, the hotel. Exactly. And they be oh, like, yo, yeah, I'm gonna go Mobay. Oh, Jamaica was amazing. Nah, like, go see Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. Go, go be around the people, go be around the real them, you know, and, and, and feel it and feel the culture. So you can really be like, yo, I experienced this place and I know what they're about. And if I meet a Jamaican, I'm not just going to say, yeah, I'm on. You know what I mean? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to talk to you about something. You so know? so do you feel like, seeing that, remember, you are, you're, so you are the grandchild. Do you feel like there is no... uh 
like detachment from Jamaica. Like not in a bad way. So like if your, your your grandfather Jamaican mm-hmm. and then like your uncles um them them still go Jamaica. Yeah. But now like your generation and the generation after you, how are you guys working it nowhere when you still maintain that like ethnicity? Or is a case where now it's like, yeah, he was Jamaican. No, no, no. I like to say I'm, I'm Jamaican. I'm Jamaican and yeah. Haitian. That's me. I'll never say I'm American ever in my whole life. Yeah, but what does I say like if I'm Jamaican? Well, okay, no, no. I'm, perfect I'm, explanation. Explain. But listen, I'm Jamaican and Haitian. That's me, right? Yeah. Um, but so like somebody that come from Jamaica, like you know what I mean? They'll come here and obviously I don't have a Jamaican accent. I'm not Jamaican. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but you, yeah, yeah, but you can't understand it though. No, no, I can't, but I'm saying though, but but that person would be like, yo, he not Jamaican. True. You know what I'm saying? And they'll have that little, like, or if I go Jamaica, right? And and I'm in Jamaica, obviously I'm me, you know what I mean? Like I'm I have I'm not I'm not I'm not changing my accent when I go to Jamaica. I'm not trying yeah. to be like a certain, you know what I mean? I'm just me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um I'm coming from foreign, like, you know, all this like it's like yo, like, I'm just like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, maybe I didn't grow up in Jamaica, but I'm Jamaican and I'm Haitian. If I go to Haiti and my Creole not good like that, you know that's why I don't even that's why I don't speak Creole that much. Oh, so 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 it's the same. So you get the same flux. So like, if you go Jamaican and you speak Jamaican, we are gonna be like, yo, don't do that. Like, so when you go Haiti and you speak Creole, it's Bro, the I same. I would never. Way. I would never speak because. As much as Jamaicans, judgmental Haitians are ten times worse. I would never speak Creole. I only speak Creole to my grandmother. Yeah, <laughs> but like, good. So but like, she, she loved me. She gonna love me regardless. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I only speak Creole or, or French to her. But if you were so judgmental, but I'm like, all right, then would I be like, hell no, stop, yeah. don't do that again. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. I don't feel like I'm American, so I ain't gonna say that. I'm Jamaican and Asian. You know, I grew up like that. You know, like. But I'm glad they keep that boy though. Because yeah. it it it's easy and you it might not happen now, but because you guys have been like in the States and then you are gonna have children in the States. And your children are gonna have children Fact. in the States. And they can't for, they can't forget that. Because you come to America and you dark, you you're we're not we're we're, real, we're this is not black. We're not black. We're like we're dark brown, or we're not. We have like we not even dark brown. We have beautiful like we have beautiful skin. We're not like we're not like black like this. You know, like we have beautiful skin. We have beautiful color. Like you know what I'm saying. No matter how dark you are, you got beautiful color. They're gonna tell you African American. Never been to Africa. <laughs> how can I be African? I'm I'm, I'm American. So they so the, so they already they already degrade you just by saying that like oh you're African American as opposed to being American right but if you're American shouldn't Native Americans be called Americans true if but, you're Native but if you're looking at it like that I am African because we are we're really from Africa and me are Jamaican but I wouldn't say African Jamaican. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a Jamaican. You say you're Jamaican. Yeah. Yeah. But you know you you know you come from Africa because everybody comes from Africa. Yeah. So so but they wouldn't they they don't you wouldn't you wouldn't be separated from your culture. True. From being like Jamaican because you're African Jamaican. They don't say, Oh, you're African Jamaican. No, we we're not gonna say that. We're gonna say well, Jamaican. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Stop. Even like somebody that comes from, you know, wherever they come from in Jamaica, they'll be like, yo, we Jamaican. Like, but here, if you're black, like, I'm assuming people aren't, they grew up in Alabama, they all like, they don't know nothing about anything. They've never been on a flight. Oh, you're African American. You're not American. I grew up the same place you grew up. Yeah, me like, no know nobody else. But here, this is where I come from. This is where I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I think, I think. That little separation got a lot to do with a lot of um, like I don't know. I just feel like it's a little condescending sometimes. But. Sure. So um, so like, 
So like to me, so certain you think on a wiser level. So like for instance, like your grandfather, your grandfather leave like back like whole heap of quotes. Um, like a very wise man. Me see like him say some things where we are see come to pass right now and them thing there. And no, you find yourself ever like sit down and like a whole like some serious meds. When we say serious meds, like so like oh Damien, like when Damien did that, like write certain song and him him like drop certain like serious like bombshell. Are you like a spiritual person with like the the Rastafari I think, like where them do are you just like you just know what it is, you just accept it and like you choose your own part from it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh well more more so because of my dad, right? Like yo, if you like it, yeah, you got like you gonna lock like you ask me why I don't I have locks, right? Yeah. Yo, if you like your hair, like it's you know, it's not we don't lock our hair just this is him talking to me. We don't lock our hair just for style, you know what I'm saying? It yeah. means something, you know? So it's like, yo, you lock your hair, like you yeah, gotta, you gotta see us. Yeah, come to come on this journey, come understand what it is. Um I've I haven't been through that journey. You know what I'm saying? I'm I understand it from my understanding, you know, I understand as far as I could understand at this moment. Um, but I haven't been on that journey, so no, I wouldn't say I'm a Rasta, but you know, there's certain things there's certain things that I, I will follow, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that make a lot of sense to me, yeah, and there's certain things that like obviously make a lot of sense to me, but can I say could could I say that? No, I would no, I wouldn't say that because um You have a mind of your own and you make your own decisions then. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. so that so basically yeah, so that that good. So you you still have like the freedom I like, you know, you make your own mistake then you choose your own path. Cause you're a man where you line up always fresh. Mm. You hear always like well do. Like come and, around and, like, it's come like, on, don't trim your don't don't cut your beard. <laughs> Like like like, like 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 what you mean? Me after just grow this up. Like, what you mean? Like I'm like like oh, my mom be like yo, nigga. But you know she don't but she don't she don't try me. But she like <laughs> like you're not gonna get a haircut. Like, like you know she asked me a question. That's like yo, get a, get a haircut. Like go and get a haircut. Like, go go clean yourself. You know what I mean? But not and it's no you know more. More power to like you know it's no it's no knock on them or whatever but like I I like to have a fresh lineup. Yeah, like you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I like, you I like, like the look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like whoops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like all right, like me. So me have the dreadlocks. You see, like where your father would have said, "Yo, when you are gonna do the dreadlocks, just remember, say yo, it come with a like a lifestyle." And like me, I did just like dreadlocks, like. Yeah. <laughs> But and, that's cool too. But I like a fresh lineup. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, yeah, but. But now I gotta have locks like Bob. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm think that that's too much. <laughs> yeah, but you got, but then you got, so you gotta understand where he's coming from because, you know, my posse coming from a place where, like, you know, obviously, you know, Jamaica is just mental mm -hmm. on Bob's son and Bob, you know what I mean? Like, book, blase, blase, blase. So to me, it's more like, as. Yeah, you're telling me that, but he don't want me to be subject to certain things that he was subjected to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I don't know why you feel like you have to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, where, where like, they would, like, say he had dreads in, in a lineup or whatever, you know, they would, they would... I pressure him for that, like, say, like, yo, how come you have a lineup? Yeah, what I mean, I don't care. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I really don't, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't care, I don't, like. What, because we're judgmental, we can't tell you that. We yeah, are yeah, just, judgmental. But, but I know that because of both sides, I know Caribbean people in general, judgmental yes. people, like, but almost like, to a point like, I like, so what? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, at like one point, I'm just going to stay in the house, like, oh my God, like, not me. That's one thing I like. That's one. That's one thing I like about growing up in America. I can see my cousin that grew up in Haiti. I can see the one. Like I can see what like Jamaica brings too. Like 
it's like it's certain pressures that, that you didn't necessarily have here. No, even like my mom, like something would happen, and I, like all right. So for instance, right, my cousin one time, right, I never smoked, but I'm, you know I'm obviously I'm my mom's side. Yeah. Um, I go to the beach with my cousin. He brings a blunt. I'm like, yo, bro, this is for a lot of that beach. Light that here, whatever, whatever. I said, like, you shouldn't even, you shouldn't even brought it. Um, and then we had another friend too. Anyway, cops come down the place with a dog. He dashed the, he dashed the. Instead of putting it in the sand, but it was like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna put nice sand. He didn't do it. <clears throat> anyway, he dashed it in my bag. This is my like college bag that had Marley number two on it. Anyway, the dog said that. I would have took it, whatever. But my cousin, my cousin, they stand up. You know what I mean? Yo, that's mine. Whatever. Okay. Anyway, fast forward. Oh, he took it there. Come to the family now. Oh, a ticket goes to like his parents' house. They find out. Whatever, whatever, whatever. He's like, oh no, that was Nico, Nico, his friends or Nico's friends. And my mom called me. He's like, yo, Nick, like, what happened? Like, you never told me this with her. I was like, my, you know, I don't smoke. I said, well, let them, I said, let them think whatever they want. Think it's cool. It don't matter. Because my fans, like, a whole meeting thing. Because, like, smoking them times, like, Haitian culture, the worst thing. That, so, wait. So, people in Haiti, they don't really smoke like that? Or they look down they, on it? No, they act like it. They oh. act. They smoke. <laughs> Their kids smoke. They do all kind of weird shit. Like, they, they, like, not weird, but they do human shit. They just act like they're perfect. It's an act. It's an act because of... Most people. No, but it's an act because of like social pressure that they're putting on other people, that other people are putting on them when they're doing the same shit other people are doing. It's just a social act, bro. It's an act when like, fam, we, do all, we all do the same shit. Your kid, I know your, I know your kid and he, you can't pass judgment on anybody <laughs> just for this social pressure. Whatever. All of my cousins smoke. Uh, my mom's side. A lot of them, not all of them. I ain't snitching. You got some cousins that yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But their parents, at this point, though, they now most of them know their parents didn't like it. You know what I mean? But as the Marley, you're expected to smoke, so they're like, "Oh, I can always say it's him." <laughs> as the Marley, I don't though. But everybody knows that I'm not a liar. Everybody knows that I don't smoke. So it, it gets a little, it gets weird, but now it's not, but now it's super cool. Now I'm like, aunt would ask me to roll something up. No, not me, but you know, she has, if I'm there, Nico, could you buy me something? I'm just chill, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> like my sister's wedding. I went and go find, I found my little brother. I just roll something up. One, two, three. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, you know? But like, social pressure is a myth because. My understand still it's because it's, it's the same. So like, like moving from Jamaica here, I have dreads. My automatically smoke. Before like, <laughs> could you imagine if your name was exactly. Dale Marley? <laughs> Yo, you know, you know how many times that guy. Oh, you're a Marley and you don't smoke. <laughs> or, oh, oh man, man, let's roll some up, like. You know what I'm I got that? It's cool. I don't care. Like, whatever. Nah, Jay, I don't smoke. What do you want me to do? Like, nah. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, I'm a Marlin. I don't smoke, bro. Oops. You know what I mean? Like, what, what am I going to do? Like, come on. I don't do it. I don't like... Just like you might not like something. You're Ita oh, you're an Italian and you don't eat pasta? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like, come on, Jay. I don't smoke. What do you want me to do? Yeah, yeah. You have, you have your own identity. And me can me can like commend your your father and even your uncle them for each child have their own identity. Yeah, nah, like I saw people like I always expect people like I expect a certain thing from you just because I like one how you look, um, your upbringing, the people them where them see around, and all of that. So it it good because how me end up meet you. We end up meeting our organic way. We know, like see up on the road and like run in and be like, yo, yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So I always tell the people them say, yo, um, your environment and your circle, very important. 
especially for like where you want to be and what you want to do. And I just want to know if you, you have any advice for like anybody out there who like I do anything because like you have a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what kind of advice you have for anybody out there who like want to start a business or anybody who want to like stand out but still remain in the same like lane? Can you create your own identity? Yeah. So with me, it in it could be at fault sometimes, and it may not always work out. But what what has kept me me was um, if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm a I'm a jump in, I'm a dive in on the deep end. Maybe the water too hot, maybe it's too deep. But guess but what? But may I do it? I gotta figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I I have to. You know, because it's what I like. Because if if I put myself, if I put myself in a water that's too deep, I better find a way to 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 the air. You know what I mean? I, I like that's the way. That's how I operate. Like I'm starting a CBD company. I better figure out how it's gonna work. I better figure out how it's gonna relate to people. I figure out how I'm gonna sell it. You know what I mean? As opposed to just okay, this gotta be perfect. This gotta be perfect. This gotta be perfect. Because that's that's it's happened before and it's taken it's it's years and it's months and months wasted. I don't. I rather waste the money than the time. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yo, that is it. Real talk. That is it. I rather waste the money than the time, bro. And I rather I rather go take a I rather go take a shot, bro. Um, it's a quote. I forget who said. I forget who said it. It was um. How does it go? It goes like if you had a chance and you didn't take it, it's like you never had it at all. That is fox. You know what I'm saying? That like, is fox. Go fit. Go figure it out. Like go go put yourself. Go put your back against the wall. Like what? Like and and I'm like I'm privileged. I gotta have a great family with a great foundation. So. Yes, I, I, I can fall, fall back on something. So I won't say that could work for everybody. You know, some people have more risk, but it's still a risk to me because it's me. But it may not be as risky for us, like, as risk, like... It's you know, more risk for some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but at the same time, I feel the same pressure. You know what I mean? I got to be me. I got to... I have, I have to do it for me. You know? I understand. So I look like my back against the wall. I, I feel like I'm at my best. Me too. That is why I do this right now. And that, that's what you got to keep doing, bro. Exactly. Like, me, me do this right now just because, man, I say, yo, if I did to sit down and like wait, forget to, to look like this art, it would have to start from somewhere. Exactly. And then get better. I see. I mean, you could have been like, oh, no, I need the right light person. You know what you did? You bought your, your own lights and you figured it out. Or any more, like, you, you're you going to, like, you put yourself in a position. All right, yo, episode one drop. Episode two got to come next. How I make it better. Episode three got to come next. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I operate. I operate in, this, in a place where, like, but it works for me. So it worked, but, bro, I am not privileged me not fortunate. For sure. I grew up with a... Only privilege me can say is my mother and father did live abroad. Yeah. But other than that, me not grew up privileged. Everything me have, my work feet. Nah, for sure. And, and every time in a life when me reach a boundary, me make the next step, me just not comfortable. So me just want more. I always want more. And anything me I can do, me just... Let's go all the way. I just yeah. said, I prefer waste the money than the time. Better wait, better you waste the money than the time. But it's 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 also okay to be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's also okay to be like, yo, like I got the car. I, th- I may not need the Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? I may not need the whatever, whatever car. I may me not want need the, the range. Yeah, go get it. Go get it. Me want the Lambo, you know. Lambo, me want it. Go get it. 
Go get it if you can go get it. <laughs> but it's okay if you cool if you cool with the Honda, be cool with it. Don't you ain't gotta put no extra pressure on yourself, man. This life, this life is about it's more about you than you think it is. It's Somebody like, in a bill. Uh, the thing is, some people in a bill for for certain pressure. Yeah. Some people in a bill for for one more. Or some people that are them limit. But it's okay. It's okay not. It's okay not to want more because what do you want more of? And when does more stop, bro? And that's the question you gotta ask yourself. When True. does more stop? Like when? Like when are you gonna be sat? Like when? When are you gonna be satisfied? When does more stop? Oh, I got, I got the Lamborghini or whatever. Say that's that's what we were talking about. Now I need the. I made like the the, plan. the 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 ten million dollars house. Now now I need no now I need to get the house before you get the plane. Yeah. Now I need a plane. Oh, but now I, oh I seen bro with them hundred million dollar boat. Now I need the boat. Like yes. when does then more more... space. And uh, so my understand what I say. When it gonna stop? You know about it. It's, it's greed. Rat race. It's it's greed. And the thing is, it, you have to understand my youth from another perspective. Is so your base, your base. Yeah. Is different from from like somebody else's base. I mean, that's like my base. Right. So my base was, um, so it was a four bedroom house, two rooms in the back. Did live the person them who lived in the back have unsound mind. So the first two rooms them is basically like thirteen away, and it's one bathroom, mm. and the house never have no gate, and the toilet never flush, and so so like. That are my base. Your base already is like somebody dream. So like when when you look upon it and say it's okay. No, you have to look upon it from another person's perspective. Where yeah, it's okay if it, enough people just want to reach for you, they are stop. <laughs> like yeah, me want where. Want a legacy, yeah. So, so there's, so there's like for more sure. work we have to put in for for a legacy. So, if if anybody were willing to just reach somewhere and stop, me commend them. Maybe it's a downfall of mine for always want more. No, 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 no. But I don't, I don't say reach somewhere and stop. Oh no, no. Me completely understand what you're saying because. Like sometimes you have to really sit down and 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 look on things where you accomplish and be like, yo, you do a lot. No, no, but I don't, but I don't, but I don't do, I don't, I don't do that myself. Like you try to block it out. To me, it's done. It never happened. Whatever I accomplished never happened. It's a ne- It's a next step. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or like my goal is to be is my goal is pe- like it's just. It's just to be like, I don't want to be cliche, but it really, it really is just to be like happy in the moment. Like right now, like, you know, I'm cool and I'm chilling, whatever. Like, I still want to do more. I got a juice bar concept that I got to, I must, oh, I have to open this juice bar. I'm, I have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a concept of mine for the last five years. I got to do it. And I want to do it in Miami. That's something I want to do. Um, I want to expand Lion X to to Canada to to Europe. Like it's something I gotta do. There's things I, w- but those aren't like, but those thoughts aren't gonna t- like. I'm not gonna go to sleep and tell myself, oh, I'm not where I want to be. That's only today. Tomorrow, tomorrow, a whole nother opportunity could come. I never thought I was gonna go to Brazil. That was a random opportunity. You know what I'm saying? With this little festival thing I got. I just woke up in the morning, I got it. But today I'm not gonna put no a pressure on me that that is years away or months and months away. Oh, so it basically so, is like day by day. I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna mash my head up about something that I know I can't I know I can't fix that moment right now. I'm not gonna mash my brain up about it because guess what? Tomorrow I could have a whole nother passion. That's why I learned. That's why I learned from football. 
that was my own that was my only thing I love football. That's all I wanted to do ever. That's all I thought about. I stopped playing. Then you realize there's other things. Not other things. I realize there's everything. There's everything, Dale, bro. It's everything in this world, bro. It's literally everything in this world, man. Like, as, and you got, I mean, obviously, you gotta be, you have to be exposed to it, you know? And it's a lot of people that aren't exposed to it. So I won't, like, it's not, it, it's not like, a, it's not like in a cliche way that, oh, anything can happen for anybody. I understand there's a lot of people that's not exposed to it, but once you're exposed to it, anything can happen. You know, people move to Bali with $200 and are living amazingly. You know what I'm saying? The only thing they have to worry about is getting there. Like, yeah, it's all about exposure, people. No, so like, we I say, that is really what change like my view on things. Mm. When expose me to something that yeah. I like and that is all. So like if I come here like my day right just right now, I like I like the space here. Yeah. In my mind now, me I like, all right. Next time I have an apartment, I have to look like this. That's it. But you ain't gonna, but but that don't mean you're gonna go home and be like, oh man, my apartment's shitty. Like, oh no. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, why you still nice? You true, know? true. Some people my bed, yes. my bed, my bed still, you know what I mean? Like you have, to, you have to just love what you have, appreciate what you have first. Work for what you want, but you can't necessarily stress and overthink and don't play what you have. Yeah, because like it's oh, it's always something better. Just like it's like you telling me you're here, I'm here, which is not it's not the case because we're both here together, we're both sitting down in the same place. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like I could look at somebody and be like, "Oh, I'm here, you're here. Oh, damn, I want as many followers as you." You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. all it's always it's always something, man. You gotta and and what you have is what you have. Like to look at a next man, it's like you could look at anything they have and, and want them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can want that, not them, but you could want that. You know, like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't matter like what somebody like because everybody got their own like struggle. I wouldn't call it a struggle, but it's like a threshold or something, bro. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, where you could be happy here, say, I want to be happy here. You know what I mean? Or like, where where you're hurt somewhere that, like, I haven't felt before. If I get hurt a little more than what I felt, that's the worst pain I ever got. But if you feel the same shit, my man, that ain't nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, my parents, they ain't been together since I was, they was divorced since I was, like months, maybe you know what I mean. Not even, maybe not even a year. I never, like I never seen my parents together. So when I saw my best friend go through, like in high school, his parents were getting divorced. He was angry, slammed, like you know what I mean. Like in 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 school, he angry, he fighting everybody. Can not I get divorced? Because his parents were what? And I'm like, yo, that's I ain't gonna, it, I ain't not serious. Like, that's serious. But to him, that's everything. That's his foundation. That's everything you ever know. I never I never knew it. My my little brother, my mom and my and my stepdad's um son, and my stepdad, by the way, the best stepdad anybody could ever ask for, you know what I'm saying? In my eyes, you know what I mean? Like treat me like a son. Only reason I don't call him father is because I know my dad will get mad. <laughs> but but you know what I mean? My dad was there as well. But in, in our house, you know what, like Eddie, like like to me, that's a man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could take care of somebody else's children. Cause I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> no, but he held us down crazy. But um, like I was saying about my my my, my brother. If, if my mom and Eddie get into an argument or something, just crying. I'm like, bro. But I don't understand, and I had to learn to understand. He's crying. I'm like, bro, your dad just went on the couch. <laughs> yeah, he's just right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing that big. And say worst case scenario, something happens between, like, 
we can have two hoes. We can be all right. <laughs> but, but that was me before I under, like it, it didn't make sense to me. But once it made sense to me, I'm like, oh, this is what he knows. This is his family. This is him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I affect him different from another person. You know what I mean? Looking like, from another like I grew up spectrum. My, I grew up with my sister. Somebody grab well, not somebody, but like, oh, oh, he just gonna go live with Yanti now. No. You know what I mean? But like it's it it's all re- everything is relative to the person, you know what I mean? Or like what so and so been through. Um, this is off topic, but not necessarily. We are on topic. No, no, but no, no, no. I'm saying I'm, I have another point. Like, oh. like for me, like it's hard for me to be mad at somebody for being for acting in their own best interests because it shouldn't be. I shouldn't be mad at somebody acting in their own best interest. I should expect it. Not that I should expect it. Like, not no. I shouldn't expect it. I shouldn't hold them to a certain, like a certain pedestal, or like have expectations for them, as opposed to being like, "Yo, this person is human. He's gonna." Maka act on his own self interest. You know what I'm saying? Like, regard maybe my mom and my dad. Hey, hey, your son. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got that right. But a friend, you know. Like we used to get in a lot of fights as children, like as kids. Like me and my cousin, right? I got seven stitches in my in my back of my head from a bottle. I got stitches on my lip. Like we used to get in bras, right? <laughs> but no, there was some of the like there was some maybe they weren't that much younger than us, but they weren't fighters. You never expected them to come and jump in and boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't the expectation because it's not fair, you know, like. So when somebody acts in their own best interest, it's more so your fault for, or for expecting them to do something that not good for them. You know what I mean? Like, why should I be mad? Like, why should I have feel a way about somebody that's doing something for themselves? I can't. Where well, I may not do it, but that's because um, I'm of a family with I got like over 80 cousins. And we grew up like brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying? Not to mention my own 11 brothers and sisters, 12, you know? But, like, I'm just one of this, you know what I mean? I got a, I got a, 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 a PlayStation. No, it ain't your PlayStation. Everybody plays it. My mama. <laughs> hey, I tell my little cousin, oh, no, I'm playing. My mom come in the room. I take this whole PlayStation. What do you mean? This ain't not for you. In the mar- you know what I mean? It's us. Everybody, everything is us. So I can I can relate to that. I can say, all right, I'm able to put somebody else first. But I can't expect that from anybody else to put me first. Yo, dog. Yeah. I learned Wally today. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I right. <laughs> learned a lot today. I'm like, it's more uh, thank you for giving me the interview, you know? No, no, no. Thank you, bro. Thanks for I got a lot of I had a lot of shit to say. I might even have more things things. I have a lot of things to say. I might have more things to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can't curse, my goodness. That was the yeah, toughest part. Clearly, we are gonna we are gonna have to do this again because World Cup are come. Yeah. And who are you going for? Germany. Ge- Germany? Yeah. I thought so. We Brazil over here, bro. I thought you Jamaican, you supposed to be like that. Like I was in Brazil, I was like, yo, I'm in Brazil. I'm like, yo, I'm Jamaican and Haitian. We'll never make the World Cup, so we support Brazil. Brazil. Like, yeah, yeah, Jamaica, Haiti, we are Brazil. We, we, we Brazilian, so I'm like a third Brazilian. You know, like when it comes to the World Cup, I say yeah, we definitely support Brazil. You know, you know I say I'm I'm named Marley. <laughs> <laughs> when it when it when it's World Cup time, name Marley time. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we we Brazilian, brother. Brazil now we know World Cup, brother. No, 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 this is the one. Trust me. Yo, see this long. Like the background and like the thing. So, yo, respect in a dog. My brother, Finally. Thank you. All right. Tired. <laughs> yo. <laughs>